Hey everyone, it's AG and welcome to episode 3 of Better Building in Terraria. Um, so we've got a little house set up, we've got our guys moved in and it's all great, but as you can see my inventory is chock-a-block and we don't really have a place to work. So what I'm going to do on this episode real quick is throw together kind of a workshop with um, a couple of extra bits of um, housing for some more NPCs that we're going to put in. So the die trader will come um, and set up where we can put our tools in a in a nice laid out fashion as well as some storage for our junk so we'll just um, deposit all to get that and quickly just take a couple of things that we might need i'm going to head over to the ice biome which is off to uh just off to the right here and grab some boreal woods um, and what i'm going to do is i'm going to create like a kind of like an over section here so we're going to run a small roof and then we're going to build another kind of front facing so not with the roof of the side but roof facing front and that's going to have a couple more houses for uh, our npcs so let's make sure we've got the axe so that's cool so let's just head on over oops stairs nice Head on over to the ice biome real quick and grab some boreal words because I want to do some stuff with that today. And yeah, oh, there's a strange plant. Yoink. So we know we've got the die trader waiting in the in the wings. Claire, new teeth required. Waiting in the wings to come and join us because we've got that uh, strange plant item. Right, so here we are in that ice biome. I'm just going to grab some of this boreal wood. This boreal wood's quite nice, it's quite dark. Um, it goes well with uh, the slabs that you can make at the heavy heavy workstation. I use that quite a lot. Um, the problem with the slabs is they don't blend with many blocks. They tend to... Uh, they blend with marble and they blend with granite, but any other block on it generally tends to have a hard black outline. Um, depending on your building style, you might be happy with that. I personally don't like it, but... Yeah, you know, so we've got that. Borrowed those boreal wood bits. Um, we should probably plant some of the trees that we've taken down again, so. Just hop on over back. Follow me, birdie. Do, 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 do. Right. We don't need to plant anything here, that's cool. Get all Harry Potter in this. Spelliamus! See you, bunny. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is open the door. Come in. Uh, I might move that one over so the door can open both ways. So let's start with our boreal wood and just run it along here. Okay, that's cool. Now, if I grab the hay that I've got yep and uh, we'll grab some of this wood some of that some of the stone we're gonna need to get some more stone at some point but that's not really a problem uh, okay cool right so first things hello Hannibal first things first that door is gonna get me every time so let's it does open this way normally, doesn't it? Right, let's place that crafting table out the way. So now the door can open both ways. Whoop to do. So with our hay and our crafting table, make some more hay walls real quick. So I've joined that together and that maybe probably wasn't the best idea, but we'll work around it. So with the hay, again, just to bring it in line with this. Run the hay to here. And then with our hay wall. That's cool. Oh, well, okay, we'll go one higher. We'll go one higher, just to get rid of it. Nice. I think we're going to start taking this section down anyway, so yeah. Let's gather up our tools. 
Right, we are probably going to need some more stone. So, I will quickly zip on down hither and grab some more stone. So, I will be right back once I have acquired enough stone. Okay, guys, I'm back. I've got some stone from just over yonder. And the first thing we're going to do is get interfered with by a worm. Out the way, worm. And you need to move too. Thank you. Right, so this is going to be our work area. Uh, and a neat and nifty way to store chests is just directly below you. Depending on how like loot happy you are. Um, this generally works for when you're starting out. So what you do is just mine this out. And all of our chests are going to go underneath here. See, I've made it one block deeper than the normal chest. But that's because we're going to put a floor on it. So let's just keep ourselves all neat and tidy. That block down there. Uh, let's just use this wood here. So put the words and then let's use the stone. Why not? Right. I am going to very quickly pop some stone wall. Try not to use too much of it. Because resources are limited. Okay. If a wall if um, a world gen wall is right next to a wall that you've placed, you can remove it just by mousing over it and clicking with the wall that you're going to place and it will place it. So let's just pop this in here real quick. Get in there. Got it. Right. So. I'll just cover this over. So what we can do now is. Get our chests. And we can start to place them. Down here. And you can access them. And whatever workstation you're at. You know. So. We can now put our furnace back down. We can put our sawmill back down. Um, and. If you want to be clever, make a platform or two. And what you can do is you can have a workstation and an anvil on top of each other. So let's make a workbench real quick. Shouldn't be really be using the boreal wood, but yeah. And you can just kind of like lay this out how you want to best access your weapons. If you I mean if you want to space it out. That's cool, but keeping it compact makes crafting sometimes a bit easier. So now I can access crafting at the furnace, the anvil and the crafting table all at once. So the sawmill is there and we can use it if we need to. I think you can get everything from like standing here. It looks like we can. So that's kind of cool, but it's looking a bit all floaty in there and we don't do that. So let's just make some boreal wood walls. Boreal wood walls are quite cool because they have a flat top, so it looks, you know, you can place it in open air, it won't be too much of a problem. But there we go. So there's that. And now I need to get, because we are in a crimson world, I need to find some crimson and get some shade wood. Shade wood's really cool because it's kind of like mahogany, and mahogany goes um, horizontally whilst shade wood goes vertically when you place it so it kind of um you can use shade wood as like poles or you can use mahogany to create obviously the the kind of shack kind of feel so let's go and find our dancing bunnies uh let's go and find our crimson uh and grab some of that shade wood so i shall return very shortly Okay guys, well I've come all the way across the right hand side of the map with no corruption. Uh, we have encountered the dungeon. So what I'm going to do is just pop in here and have a quick sneaky peek. See if we can't snag some good things. So I kind of want the books. So I've come all the way to the jungle at the other end of the map. And I still haven't found any crimson freaking weird oh hello 
so how are we going to get across all of this? Yeah, so either our... I'm guessing that our crimson is like right at the end of the world. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Piranhas, please. Help. Hello. It's dark and I'm underwater and it's raining and there's fish everywhere. There's fish in the water and there's fish in not in the water. And vampire. But no, jungle bat, please. Please. Sickle OP. Well, that didn't work as expected. Uh, thank you. Oh, run, AJ, run. Wow, I thought that goldfish was a piranha. But yeah, we're nearly through the jungle. And here's our crimson. Right at the edge of the map. Right, so how am I going to get... Uh-oh. I made a mistake. Right, okay, this is a problem. This is a problem. Please, please, no, please, it's dark and wet and I'm dead. Rip three gold. So yeah, Shadewood might not be a thing just now until I gear up. See you guys back at base. Alright guys, we have respawned, and since Shadewood isn't going to be a thing, then I'm going to do something different. There is no corruption along here, and it would seem that our only corruption is past the jungle, which is great. Freaking fantastic. So, we've got a couple of cool things from the the dungeon which we can use We've got these carriage lanterns which are really quite cool they do they glow quite well and they look a little different you know and you can get them at the start if you can get to your dungeon so there's that what i need to do is deposit some of our wood in this chest and put a couple more down perfecto so what you can do with the dungeon door which I think is always the same. It's a little different. Looks kind of nice. Right. We are going to make the iron work table. So the heavy work table. So it's lead. And it's some wood. So if we open our wood up. We should be able to see. Heavy workbench. There it is. Now the heavy workbench doesn't really do much. It's allows you to create a couple of extra blocks. Uh, primarily, you can create statues and these num um, numbers and letters, uh, and they all require 50. So we're not gonna be doing anything like that, but what we are gonna be doing is making stone slabs. Now, stone slabs are kind of cool. When you put them together, they form a big chunky block, right? So, for example, you can see they form quite big square blocks. If you place them on a, like a one block high, it creates a really interesting kind of, well, slab. So it kind of goes well with boreal woods and the um, background wall is quite good for uh, doing columns or pillars, big massive pillars. So what I'm gonna do is just with these stone slabs, Pop them down. As you can see, they don't blend with like normal, um, normal stone. They don't. They don't blend with many blocks, like I, like I said before. But sometimes it's nice to use it. Breaks it up. Actually, I'm gonna need to make some more in a minute. Let's put our furnace back down. Uh, let's grab our water and then our. Da -da -da. That's cool. Oh, broke the furnace again. Ta-da! Make me some slabs. Wonderful. Right. So, now what I'm going to do is make a couple of stone slab walls. And we're just going to 
kind of eyeball it. And put these like here. And I'm going to swap out this boreal wood ball. Because of blending. In fact, actually, I just spotted something that looks quite cool. So what we're going to do is put that there like that. Uh, roughly there, I guess. Right, with the boreal wood ball. I'll just run it along the bottom. That looks cool. So this is going to be like our work area. So let's put the sawmill back. So that's one and two. Right. And the furnace. I'm trying to think. With the furnace, you can do something pretty funky. So let's grab some grey brick walls. Should be enough. We're going to run grey brick wall up here uh, and then through and up here there you are grab have I got any stone brick my little stone brick stone brick where are you Get up there! No, not there. Not there, you fool! Okay. Just need to check real quick what the recipe for that is. It is 10 stone brick. So, with 10 stone brick, Give your furnace some life. Come on now. With a chimney. Wow, that doesn't sit centre. Well, that doesn't sit right with me. Okay, where's my hammer? Here it is. Yeah, let's just let's just do that. Grab some hay. There we go. Nice. Part of building means experimenting as you go. So we'll take this one out, and then we'll just move this furnace over a little bit. Ta-da! There you go. So the furnace has its own like chimney, which is, you know, cool, neat. Uh, right, so that's our work area. Pretty much set up. And we can start taking down this, this one here. So we can either do that with hammer, but that'll take a while. So I think we can episode, end this episode with a bang. Die Trader, you better move. Guys, thanks very much for watching. And 